So we've had a fantastically successful year. We've increased our participation by about 200%. It's just amazing to be back in sport and do proper contact training. This year we've had so many people come and from our first taste we had like 40 people and it's just been an amazing opportunity to meet loads of people. While we do still have to focus, we definitely do have fun together. You know, it's always a good time. It's always a good time at games, always a good time on the bus rides to and from matches. We've been fortunate enough to travel to like various different universities all across the Midlands. Throughout the whole season, we've all improved massively and knowing that I was sort of part of it, it just makes me feel really good about myself and makes me feel like I've made a positive influence. Myself and a few others set up the rugby team. It took us four years to get a match, but here we are. It's very emotional, massive relief as well. In December, I went to the British National Championships and got a silver in my weight group. And at Bucks, we got a silver in the women's team. We've only lost maybe one or two games in the league, and we're in the third round right now of the trophy, so we're doing pretty good. We took these guys in December to um, St. Mary's for the first Bucks competition, and it was great. Everyone loved it, and it just made everyone super excited to like come back and keep training because we got a really good medal haul. And we are currently placed fifth out of 55 universities in the UK, so a fantastic achievement as well. So Netball have had an amazing year, they've won every single match I think this year, apart from one, which is amazing. They really deserve every recognition they get. It's been amazing, it's been great to move to England, to be a part of the ARU volleyball team to defend the colours of ARU. It's really fun, the vibes are really good and um, everyone here is really lovely. So it's been good to have you know, that team set up again, especially the socials, that's been a good you know, team bonding exercise. It's really fun to meet people from different countries on our team, we have a pretty diverse team, um, so it's fun to like, you know, see different cultures. I feel very lucky that I've been afforded the opportunity to actually be a part of this club and meet so many great people. To find a really good team that I get on with so well has just been absolutely amazing. Now I have so many new friends and my life has just changed like so much. Team ARU have been absolutely brilliant. They've supported us with kit, with travel, helping us get to training each week, providing coaches for us. Coaches wise, obviously brilliant. They're part of the team. They work super hard for us, so we massively appreciate that. We've got really good time always at the studio. It's mainly because of Kat, so she creates a really good atmosphere. It makes you feel like it's a big family rather than a sport that we all do. So today's Challenge Cup, obviously we've come over to UEL, playing them at 10 different sports. So UEL will be keeping the cup this year, but it's been an amazing day. I've watched quite a few sports today and they've done so well. You can hear how hyped it is now. It's such an atmosphere to see everyone come together and really enjoy sport. For me personally, today has been saying bye to the guys I've worked with for the last year or two. In fact, some of them free. So it's been emotional and I've wanted to make the most of it. It used to be hard for me to make friends, but then I joined the sports club, although not knowing anything, and people just accept you the way you are and accept your abilities. And for someone like me, it means a lot. It's people to talk to about anything. It's people to look out for you. It's people to share stuff with. Gaining experience from other people and other things in life, it's the best thing. I really love it. I've met so many new people over the three years that I've been here and just literally playing the sport has it's changed my life, you know. Without that I'd sort of just be just doing university. I honestly can't imagine life without volleyball at uni now. Now that I've started playing, I mean, it takes up such a big piece of my mind all the time, you know, thinking about it and, you know, I, I love it and I can't imagine I would have any of the friends that I've got here without volleyball.